another the horrifying word continue. Who will make this game of murder alive? Clock Tower. Evil the murder slash to death. With a knife? No, it sounds crazy, but it looks like they were killed with a giant pair of scissors. Alright guys, uh, what's up, get the folks here, so I'll be playing one of my childhood nightmare, but actually one of my favorite survival horror game, especially in point and click genre, so this is Clock Tower, so let's play. This is part one, I actually played this game yesterday, but Unfortunately, I forgot to delete some files on my memory card, but yeah, let's start. It's been a while since the last time I actually played a survival horror game. So let's go. This is part one. Hallucination. Professor Bark. Professor Bark. Professor Bark. What on earth are you doing, Professor? You mustn't hypnotize her like this. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. I must know the truth of what happened. She can't take any more of this today, Professor. I'm taking her home. Hmm. All right. But remember one thing, Helen. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. Yes, Professor. All right, so... I'm actually using a PlayStation mouse here, the SCPH-1030. So this mouse is actually created to play point-and-click games as well, aside from RTS, real-time strategy games. So let's play. A giant pair of scissors is on. 
they are a replica of the scissors used by the murderer in the clock tower series these are like the weapon he used to slash up his victims so before clock tower there was Ghosted and it was released in SNES which unfortunately we don't have an SNES console so yeah hmm there is a faint smell of ammonia a file cabinet patient that's too fast. Uh, what's this? There is a memo stuck between the pages. You found hint number one. The mass murder of over 10 victims in this case. How intriguing. Jennifer Simpson, only one of the two survivors. I have to get information out of her for future profiling materials. Anything else here? Uh, just a light switch. Oh, so there... There are no any, like, option for me to turn off the lights. I've been doing mostly criminal psychology research. Hmm, the staff is still here. Who is this? Who are you? Let's start with him. Professor, a newspaper reporter is here. Did you have an appointment for an interview? It's about the clock towers murders, isn't it? Hmm, I guess they want to sensationalize this Caesar man who really doesn't even exist. Caesar man, it'd be cool if he were real. Huh? Uh, just a joke. Nice. Professor Helen left a few minutes ago and she looked really angry hmm a statue it is called one of the items found at the scene of the clock tower murders it seems to be hiding some sort of secrets it would be good idea to get an expert opinion on this all right so i always i'm always having trouble with my audio for some reason here and all right whoops caesar's man's rubber mask a kind of kind of sold in cheap novelty shops and seems to be fairly popular people certainly buy stupid things you should you shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long all right let's, let's go outside oh there is still something i need to do in here that must be Checking Helen's, I believe, because yesterday it took me like five minutes to to get out of this room, and I'm sorry for my bad English because English isn't my first language, but I'm trying to stream this in English. Oh, okay. Seems to be hiding something. Good to get an expert opinion on this.
you know, Helen and Jennifer are really beginning to look like sisters, aren't they? I guess that's what happens when you leave together. What? One mustn't let their personal feelings get in the way. Jennifer is nothing more than another research subject. Wow, that's very rude. Ah, uh, yes, yes, you are right. Alright, the audio again. There's still something I need to do in here. Holy... Clip out articles of the clock tower. Story are scattered about... It seems Harris has gone somewhere. I think that's pretty much it. Yes. Alright, so one thing I really like about Clock Tower is the atmosphere. Like, look at this. Uh, we are in a empty hallway with just a person, like, you know, say a guy. A newspaper reporter is looking for you on the first floor. Oh, thank you. There's a certain word actually uh, I already watched this before it was a documentary for Sierra games like the, the feeling of being alone like I don't know I forgot the exact term but I always felt like that whenever I'm playing clock tower because of the atmosphere of being just yourself like you know saying so being alone so first floor, let's go downstairs. And again, sorry for my bad English. Noah, oh professor. I am the one who called you from Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. This is Tim. It's it's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? I can't say anything for sure yet because... The victim's this, this testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim's? That's testifying. That'd be Jennifer Simpson. Yes, what, what about her? Uh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview but she refused. You just said her testimony lacked credibility. I know what you are going to say. That monster she was talking about, the Caesar man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it, that's right. That is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of the Caesar man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that today. Well, let's start from the conclusion. It's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. 
but that doesn't make him to an immortal monster. We're just dealing with some odd school ball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see. But, okay, that's it. Interview's over. There's something I must be attending to. Oh, uh, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry, I couldn't be as much help as you had hoped. Damn. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Uh, murders. Eh, he's supposed to be a young boy about 10 years old. Alright, alright, alright. That's cool. And my audio is having problem again. Sorry about that. Alright. So let's head back to... Second floor, I believe. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about earlier. Like, you know what I'm saying? The atmosphere, the feeling of being alone. Here. Where Harry is no longer here. It's, you know what I'm saying? The atmosphere, it's really weird. Like, can we get inside the female room? Uh, female restroom, sorry. This is a drinking fountain. And a power box. <laughs> Alright. Let's get inside. Oh. Hair is still here. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. Oh, that's right. I still need to get... Oh. Am I speaking with Harris? I don't think so. Oh, alright. There you go. Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower. Murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Alright. Who is this young boy? There's still something I need to do in here. Okay. Again. Again, we are having problem with our audio. <laughs> Alright. I need to investigate further about these papers that we have here. Oh, I, I remember. I need to do a favor with Harris actually is there something I can do for you is there something I can do for you sorry I'm trying to be Harris now is there something I can do for you talk to Harris what the hell oh that's right what the hell speak to Harris I, I should probably ask Pro Professor Sullivan the head librarian at, of, at the Metropolitan Library Yes, but there was that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Uh, okay. So like in other games, like in other survival horror games, like uh, like an example of the Walking Dead game. So it's like choice, matter, gameplay. So I believe my answer here will depend on what might happen to Harry's in the future. I believe because Clock Tower has multiple endings, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So yes. For now, let's say yes, yes. Oh, we are losing our audio again. 
Alright, yes. Alright, I will ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the murders? Yes, it is. Would you ask him if he knows anything about it? Yes, I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening. Very good, thank you. Okay, that's that. I should probably go to the therapy room. Well, it's not a good idea to to travel in the evening, I would say. But, yeah. Oh, Air Demon, hello, how are you? Are, are you playing on PS1? Air Demon Kira. Yes, I'm actually using my PS1 here. Using PSIO. Oh, thank you for watching Air Demon Kira. Sorry about the audio and sorry about my English. Because English isn't my first language, actually. Um, we're having problem again with our audio here. I'm only using PSIO, actually. A touch on my original PlayStation 1. So that's why I was able to use my PlayStation mouse here. Okay. This is the young boy. Thank you very much for coming. How do you do? I'm an instructor at the Granite Orphanage. I am Edward's guardian. Edward, I thought he completely lost all his memory from the shock. Does he remember his name? No, I call him Edward because not having a name to go by makes things very difficult. Alright. Now, since this is our first day, will you answer some simple questions for me? Now, I want you to honestly tell me everything you remember about what happened. Here, yes. Well then, let's get started. Alright, so yesterday we stopped playing because I no longer have any spaces on my memory card. So... I deleted some. I deleted my Diablo save game, which apparently required 10 blocks. So I need to delete that. But that was my save file ever since, like, way back 2003, I believe. So it was like level 16 uh, fighter character. So. But anyways, let's save my game for you. Alright. So, this is Helen. And who's the other girl? Oh, Beth. I'm sorry. I forgot. <sighs> That's too bad. Yes, I lost all of this morning's data. I hope I can get it fixed sometime today, so otherwise, I will not get my dissertation done on time. Don't worry, when Danny gets back, I'm sure he will be able to help you. You're probably right. In the meantime, I'm going to sleep out for a bit. Would you ask Danny for me, please? Sure. See you later. It's crazy. I'm trying to be like a female voice. 
here. Um, where should I go? Norway International Hotel. Uh, municipal library. Oh God, I remember municipal library. There was a scene there which it was really terrifying. Like, I don't know it was an accident or it was it was the scissor man. I don't know, but I think. I must check that library again. I, I remember the feeling of being in here. Uh, it was really crazy. But let's check out other locations first. University staff housing. Um, University research building. Oslo Weekly newspaper. Police station. So, um, yeah. Municipal library. I don't think we, we already have like a business here or maybe in the next scenes, but the scenes here is really crazy. Many university personnel use it. Like I actually posted like um a public post about this library in Clock Tower. Like the feeling of being in the library at two AM in the morning. It was really crazy. It was a good time. Um, yeah, Clock Tower game is really crazy. <laughs> See, I think we don't have any audios again. What are you doing here today? Oh, nothing really. Just thought I would. Oh, I, I see. I wanted to show you my collection. I've just added a new piece. Ah, yes. Well, maybe next time. Uh, I don't think... Uh, let, let me just fix my audio first. Here. Ah, yes. Well, maybe next time. Oh, uh, so yeah. Uh... I believe in the next few scenes, that's the time that we encounter this terrifying uh, scene at the library. But where do we go next? I'm really sorry, my English is so bad that I'm actually trying to explain something, but I'm really having trouble with. Um, Jennifer should probably be getting home soon. Um, she told Beth that she, she's about to get some rest, right? I think this is the boarding house. University staff housing. I wonder if she's found a boyfriend. What? What the hell? So not here. Just another breath or two of fresh air. Uh, International Hotel. Edward and his guardian are staying here. They're here. Any results from Professor Barton's therapy? No, but we can give up. Sometimes something will jog one's memory. Yes. Will you be staying here long? Mr. Barton also thought it a good idea. We plan to stay here for a while. Oh, really? Well, hang in there, Edward. Yes, Miss Maxwell. Oh, okay. So it's not there. 
I'm about to get some sleep, but why here in Oslo Weekly Newspaper Company? Ah, oh, they mob by reporters if I go over there. The police station. Oh, it, it looks... It's already like 6 p.m. here. Like, it's... The, the gamma in the dark. Um, Assistant Inspector Got the person in charge of the clock tower case is here. Well, hey, Teach. Got some new info. No, have you got any leads? Nope, nothing. That old geezer of yours, he ain't coming clean. Do you mean Professor Barton? Yeah, that's him. He said there ain't nothing straight about the case. Yes, that sounds like Professor Barton. What about that little cutie? Jennifer? She's still having nightmares. Occasionally. I ain't surprised. She was almost slashed up too, wasn't she? Well, let me know if you've learned something. Okay, bye. Alright, so that's pretty much it in the police station. And... We already checked all of these locations, but... Um... Here, uh... We met up with Edward and... Kate Here we met Sullivan University Research Building I've got to get back to the university Uh, well I should get home in what on my list What's the thing? So She's living in the University Research Building That's her house I assume I don't know because I went to research the other building but anyways who is this guy Danny oh miss Maxwell I replaced your hard drive thanks that's a big help I'm going down to the lounge for a short nap what are you going to do we will all going home soon Oh, okay. Well, no need. Oh, that's too fast. Okay. That's crazy, man. I, I can keep up with these messages. They're too fast. Oh, yeah. Scenario 1. Hello, Maxwell. Alright, so this is gonna be a really crazy scene because it's already in evening, as you can see. And our seesaw man actually attacks at night is this a guy or a girl let's check see uh the atmosphere is really terrifying just the atmosphere alone so that's why i'm drinking coffee right now to stay awake All right. Oh, another girl. Baker's still in the lab. Rose, are you seeing Baker again here? Yes, sort of. Well, no matter how late it is, remember don't use the university as a motel. Let me sleep a little longer until Baker comes. Ah, uh, shit. We we lost our audio again. Jeez. If you know how to fix this, let me know in the comments. I think it's about time for a nap. Will you turn off the light, please? I can't sleep with it on. Of course. But before we turn off the light, let's check some interesting stuff here. 
coming to the throne by one of the steps. I've already read all of those books. An old air conditioner that doesn't work very well. Well, it's it's a huge air conditioner if you're gonna ask me. Like in the nineties, if you have this, probably you're like a royal blood or a rich rich guy, rich person. Alright, let's turn up the lights now. Oh a picture. Uh, there are some cosmetics on the shelf. I forgot to like change my voice here. I don't know which is host. There are some cosmetics on the shelf brought in by the staff. I don't know which is host. What 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 is host? Like, what does it mean? I don't know. But let's turn up the lights now. Ooh. I think it, it will be much, I, I would say, safer, it's safer, uh, uh, a right grammar, I, I don't know, my English is so bad, I'm just trying to, like, stream this in English for all the people to, like, can relate, uh, I don't know, I can't really explain myself, <sighs> jeez, um, I'll take the cat nap and then work on my report. Oh, okay, so she went upstairs. That's a good idea. Woo. Alright. So, Rose, she's no longer here. What now? She's not moving. Wake up. Wake up! She's not moving. I think she had a sleep paralysis. Oh, okay. Well, now, who is it? Someone's knocking, but I don't have an audio, fortunately, so I'm not hearing anything. This is crazy. Man. Oh, who, who is this guy? What? Oh! Jeez, this is a man. Oh! Let's run, let's run. Let's go up there. Or, what's the best thing to do here? I mean, there are no weapons here, by the way. So, let's go ahead. This guy is already dead. Ah, come on, man. Um, exit, of course. It won't open. Oh my goodness. The door won't open. Alright. Shit, all doors are locked. Nothing new. Like it always happens in the survival game. Oh, okay. I, I remember this scene, actually. Yeah, I remember this.
I think he's no longer here or we just need to stay at least like a couple of minutes just to make sure I think this is how this thing work like Hell Knight but it's not a point and click PS1 survival horror game drinking coffee again all right I'm sorry um actually do, do have two mouses here so I'm always like by accident but yeah and we lost our audio again damn sorry about that All right. I think this is men's restroom. Huh? What does she say? A washroom. Everything seems normal. Something so on the Caesar man was in there. All my decisions in here will dictate my ending. Like, am I going to use the stairs or the elevator? That's how it goes. We have multiple endings in Clock Tower. I forgot the name of the guy. Um, we have Rose. And shit. But he's dead for sure. security will surely come oh it's a good day if I can somehow stay alive until then oh it's an alarm to uh, there's a key laying in the ground what's this you now have a storage key so yes we alerted the securities So far, the security guards often use for naps. Something sounds like war dripping. Oh! <gasps> oh my goodness, that's our security guard. Does he have a gun that we can use? I don't think so. I think we can use this. Uh, a chair has been knocked. I wonder what happened. No need to sit down now. It looks like a telephone. Yes, it's a telephone. The phone is dead. Oh my gosh. What we gotta do? Alright. Uh, the door is tightly shut. Well then, there's no way out. Oh. 
no way there must be another way out here a research lab currently not the door is locked Shit, I can't keep up with these messages there's no way to open this door all right Oh! Oh, he's here. Damn. Uh, I saw a restroom here, so... Same thing like what we did upstairs. Hide, hide. Yes. And this is not female restroom this time. I saw a blue logo of a guy. Oh shit, we lost our audio again. Oh, I think we, we, we're gonna die. Where's the security? <laughs> we lost our audio. No, 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 no. Oh, she fainted. Dead end. Oh, all right. So technically we died, but we 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 did not die because of the seesaw thing. Oh, all right. So maybe we can continue this tomorrow. I will make another part of Clock Tower tomorrow. And yeah, sorry for my English. My English isn't good, but this is a nice game. I strongly advise you guys to play this. I believe most of my subscribers are into PS1 game because my main like content I I do a lot of PS1 stuff. So yes. Are we done? I think oh okay, so 47 minutes so I think let's try another one all right let's try let's continue so now I know right oh so there uh, there's a checkpoint this is a good thing because I was thinking that the checkpoint was the the save uh, location, like where we met Edward and Kate earlier. So this is our checkpoint. That's nice. It's not a a good idea to hide in here because he already. He already knew that this is our hiding place. So he is here. Oh, we, we lost our audio again. Jeez, Christ. I don't have any idea that he's already here because we don't have audio. Damn. Alright. Second floor? No, not second floor.
This is our room. Oh my goodness. Hiding. And the is no longer here. I mean the dead guy is no longer here. What? So we died again. I think it's not third floor but second floor. Am I right? I'm not sure. There must be something that we can use here to yeah. oh, cry. A Doom save file. Oh my goodness, I think this is gonna be a doom save file. Hmm, we need to think something. Uh, Dead end. Oh, we need to do something. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Shit, we lost our audio again. Alright, so it's not a good idea that we actually tried to continue our gameplay because now we're in this checkpoint where we have no any options anymore. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try this. Option. So instead, uh, we tried to hide underneath the bed earlier. Let's try this. Nice hiding. <laughs> wow, it's actually working. Oof. We are now safe. Someone has put some cosmetics on the shelf. An emergency exit. That's odd. It doesn't even budge. So... I believe we are in second floor, oh third floor, right?
So our exit is locked as well with our emergency exit. What's this? An emergency ladder. Oh wow, but it can be used because it's locked. This certainly would be a big help in an emergency. The door to the rooftop. Stock in can be open. Oh, that's right. This door is kept locked ever since. I'm sorry, I forgot. I need to voice like a female. This door is kept locked ever since someone committed suicide by jumping off the roof. So we met this guy in the storage room where there are a lot of boxes. There must be something in there because uh, I mean I played a lot of survival horror games in the past and I actually already played this but I can't really remember exactly. Um, but yeah, if there's an enemy in some certain places, there must be like a key in there that they are trying to protect or something. So let's try. Let's try that way. This is not the storage room, but this is my desk. This is my, my own desk, see? Oh no, I left the key to the office laying here. You now have the office key. So I have now the office key. And... No, no, no. Uh, Bones and Psycho... Oh, shit. Some of them were written by Professor. Some of them were written by Professor Barton. Hmm. Again, uh, we lost our... Audio. I honestly do not know if there's someone actually watching this stream right now. And if you have an idea on how to fix this problem, I'm actually using a capture card using my original PS1. Uh, just comment down below like, oh, he's here. He's here. What's this? Uh, it's a free flower. No, no, no. What the hell? Dead end again. <laughs> Crazy. And again, we did the wrong thing. Um, I have the office key now. Let's, let me just double check. I have the storage key. Oh, grab your keys. The, the office key, right? That's this. It looks like Beth forgot this. There's a spray can of uh this must be the one with a powerful irritating smell. Where's the office key now? I need the office key. Shit, we lost our audio again. I don't know what that game is, but I always remember the sound effects. It's a survival horror game, but I forgot the name of the game itself. We 
need to head back to that room where there's a lot of boxes. I believe that's the storage room. Where we met a uh, seesaw man. Here. Our research lab currently, the door is locked and won't open. That's no way to open this door. I always forgot that I need to act like Helen. Sorry. Oh yes, this is what I'm talking about. The storage room. We have a storage key, right? A wooden block with stuff with papers, probably old research documents. Seems empty. There's nothing inside except a scrap of paper. Alright, let's use our storage key now. The stairs should lead to the parking lot outside. Huh? The door down this wide shot. It will oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire. I have a key, right? Oh, jeez, Christ. So, the door down this way is tightly shut. Uh, I need to do something. Find a tool that can actually cut the wires. There are many parts for computers. And that's gonna be our problem. It seems empty. Um, hold on a second. Alright. Alright, so, okay, we have lockers. It's locked. It's locked again. How about this one? Stuff lockers. And they're all empty. Well, I need to cut the wires using an emergency exit. It won't even budge. I wonder if there's another way out. Our only way out is to cut the wires. I don't think it's in the restroom, but let's check. I think everything seems normal. There's no sign of Caesar man. I saw something upstairs, kind of like a uh, flamethrower, maybe. And also, let's check the security security room. There seems to be no way to open the door. And we lost our audio again. Sorry about that. Alright. This is where we found the dead security guard, right?
just been knocked over. I wonder what happened. Alright, I'm hearing something. remember uh there was there was a replica of Caesar in therapy room yes there is let's let's check it out uh the Caesar replica here maybe we can use it to cut the wires oh it's not working whoa what the hell just happened who is this person professor barn is that you What was laying on the what was it laying on the bed? Jesus Christ so there are already two casual TVs. Uh, oh god, we, we don't have any audio again, right? Jeez. Alright. And the the replica is no longer here, unfortunately. There wasn't this. There's something hidden in the file. You have discovered the hint number four. Bottles of medicine. Patient file is stored here. You can actually use this this spear. You gonna ask me? That's our main weapon, but it's not working like that. Oh, uh, God. What's this? Uh, not the monitor, but this. Professor Barnes, this. That's right, Professor Barnes' phone should be able. To call outside. The line is dead. That is death. It's really messy. There are many files and cases of mental illness. Alright, so we lost our audio again. Unfortunately. I think this one can be useful. Uh, trash can. How about this one? Professor Marcus, the door will open. I have a storage key here. We can try this. Ah, not working. So we are done. 
Let's try this door. Whoa, it, it actually opens. Let's fix this audio first. The fax machine rings. Where's our fax machine? What? Oh, Ian Vital, nice, nice. What's up, bro? The power is out here too. The building is completely cut up from the outside. There are some dress shirts, neckties, and umbrellas. The owner is well prepared. It's locked. A flashlight. This might be useful. We now have the flashlight. I wonder why these are at the university. Let's check these files. There's nothing that might be useful. Hold on a second. Oh, it's my Hello, thing. police department. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? He's the one with the giant scissors. Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? If this is a prank phone call. Wait! Jeez, let's try again. Hello, police department. You've got to help, or he'll kill me too. Oh, it's you again. Please, don't hang up. Scissor Man murdered my friend. Scissor Man. All right, already. We'll send someone. In the meantime, lock all the doors. He's already somewhere in the building. What's your location? Southern Oslo City. Finally. Alright, so... The telephone lines are dead. Okay. So the next thing... Still, our objective is to find something that we can cut those wires. What? Is 
myself are there small shoes. These shoes can stay look like they were made by a child. Might be Edward. A magazine rack. There are many academic journals. There's no sign of anyone inside. Oh, I remember now. Danny. There's they have discovered Danny was the dead guy and Rose. So they're a couple. Please will table. So I was advised to lock old lock up old doors. Flashlight. I wonder if there's something here that might be useful. Let's let's check. There's some there's nothing abnormal. There are some tools here. I wonder if it's being repaired. This might be useful. Okay, got it. You have no pliers. Alright, so let's head back to the storage room. The room where there's a lot of boxes, right? Alright. So yes, we, we just got our pliers. And we can now open this door. Just need to cut the ties and we're good. Oh, not here. A fire extinguisher. Criminal records. Reading too many of this could drive you crazy. This is Rose, and she's already dead, unfortunately.
I have the storage key and flashlight. Um, I think this is the storage room. Oh, not this. It's in the first floor, I believe. Uh, that's the way to get in the lab. And we've never been here. This is the men's lounge. Ah, oh, no, this is our room actually. It doesn't even budge. This is where we came from. So, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's in the first floor. Alright, storage box, storage boxes. Yes, this is it. The door is locked, open. There's no way to open this door. Alright, so we can now use our pliers to cut the ties. It worked! And storage key. It opened! I've got to get to my car and fast. Alright, so we finished scenario 1, Helen Maxwell, unfortunately two casualties, both Rose and Danny, they're, they're already dead, so I wasn't able to save those guys. I don't think there's a, there's a chance as of saving those peeps, I don't know, I'm not really sure, but this is a choice matter game, and we have multiple endings so i think if i just like i think i committed a lot of mistakes i died so many times and if if i was only like if i were able to to like the first encounter like i, I died so many times i believe we can save rose if we, if we only just like we went to the therapy therapy room as much as possible maybe um she's still alive hiding in there because in clock tower series uh, there's a lot of scenarios i don't know but yes we were able to s finish scenario one and yeah that's pretty much it i'm really sorry because i can't really explain myself I'm just trying to make this gameplay in English, but English isn't my first language. But a lot of my subscribers were, like, not from my country. And PS1, PS1, like, enthusiasts. So, I'm not gonna continue this because there are a lot of checkpoints. Uh, I want to like continue where we stop so yeah that's pretty much it for this part one of Clock Tower and thanks for watching and and by any chance 
if if you know how to fix the audio problem because I'm really having trouble with my audio as you can see and I'm using an original PS1 my original PS1 a touch with my PSIO that's what I'm using I'm not using an emulator or something uh, original PS1 so I know most of my subscribers are PS1 guys so please help me fix the audio and yeah thank you. thank you for watching see you in the next stream peace let's go